Welcome to the Hairy Vegetarian. Today I'm going to make kale soup. And before you turn this off, I love this soup. It's so easy. You need a bunch of kale, garlic, a little knife, a big knife, almond milk, vegetable broth, agave, chickpeas, curry powder, salt, pepper, a soup pot to cook in, a colander, and I like to use a really big bowl, you'll see why, and a blender, or a food processor. To prepare the kale, I use a combination of cutting and ripping, as you'll see. Take off one leaf, and sometimes I just rip it if it just comes off of the big thick stem, you don't want really to cook that. Kind of a little bit of stem is okay. You could use a knife if it's tough and just come down the side of the big thick stem to get just the leaf. So the knife works. I use both. Once you've gotten all the leafy parts off of the woody stalks, the stems, I take this big bowl, I fill it with water in the sink, I swirl it around a lot in the water to get the sand, the dirt off of it, and then I take the, the leaves out and place them in the colander, and then put the colander back in the bowl. Once I've washed all of this kale really well, it's in the colander. I like to use the bowl so that I can move the colander around and it doesn't drip on the floor. I take the kale out of the colander and just rip it up. Rip it into smaller pieces than they are. It's going to get pureed. It just makes the pureeing process a little smoother, pardon the pun, if the pieces aren't really, really big all ripped up into my blend pack. You might not be able to do all of this at once, depends on how big the bunch of kale was. So some of that in. A little bit of almond milk. A little bit of vegetable broth. Just enough to get it going. I'm going to put all of the sweetener in this first batch, just a little bit, and some of these chickpeas. I'm going to drain them, some of them in. Curry powder. good spoonful. I find the curry, the strength of the curry, tends to enliven the kale. Make it taste a little less know, grassy. A little bit of salt. Secure the top. Garlic. 
Just warm enough, just hot enough to eat. 